entertainment bullseye every week with her hard riding. Straight shooting. Welcome to you. My name is Tim Lafferty. Mine's Tag Oakley. Well, Tag Oakley, eh? You wouldn't happen to be in relation to any Oakley, would you? I'm her brother. Mm -hmm. Do you know her, Mr. Lafferty? No, but I've heard of her. The little call in with the eye of an eagle and the heart of a lion. She's pretty good, but I've never heard it said like that before. Well, it isn't everybody that can be born in old Ireland and have the gift of the silver tongue. From the leprechauns. Leprechauns? What are they? They're the little people. The wee folk from the elves and the fairies. Gosh. They're not real, are they? <laughs> They're just as real as you and me. To them as can see them. With it all around me. They followed me from the old sod. And ouch! Now there. <laughs> Get along with your little jokes. Get along with you. Who are you talking to? And what happened? Well, one of them pinched me. That, that one right there. Oh, I tell you, they're full of deviltry and mischief, they are. You mean there's a leprechaun right here? You tell me you didn't see him there? That little man about so high? With a green coat and a cap and whiskers? Gee, I don't, I don't see a thing. <laughs> you do? <laughs> Neither do I. And you said I had the eyes of an eagle. Oh, it is the sweet little Lanny herself. Now, look. You get away. Get away. Now, get over there. And you, you put your hat on straight because you're in front of a lady. Ah, uh, Miss Sandy, it is a different kind of a sight that is called for. And a different kind of imagination. Maybe if you stay here a while, I can get so I can see him. I'll bide a while and look for the treasure of gold. You prospector? You don't seem to have any prospecting tools. Oh, but I have methods of my own. Sounds like trouble. Say, we can follow her as long as I stay with you. It's as good as done, lad. But that Oakley wildcat horned in. Yeah, I was watching. If you'll just drive Miss Biddle into town, we won't put you in any more trouble, Mr. Rafferty. Trouble indeed. I stand by my friends. And if you would be so kind, my friends call me Tim. I want to be your friend, Tim. Thank you, Tim.
you haven't any idea who these men were. No, you know yourself that Amos didn't have an enemy in the world. I've seen to the necessary matters, Eliza. Thank you, Tim. Well, I guess I'd better go home. Eliza, since your brother's gone, I think you need a man around the house to do the chores. Well, uh, if it's a helping hand you'll be wanting, you've got it. Well, thank you, Tim. But if you don't mind, I'd like to start back right now. We're as good as there, ma'am. Now, keep your chin up and your hat on straight, and everything will be rosy in the morning. Lofty, Amos Biddle may not have had any enemies, but that gang was out to kill him, not rob him. A hunch again? Not this time. The man that did the shooting killed Amos after he saw me. He couldn't have stopped them to rob him. Not with you there. Annie, Lofty, Tim's gonna help me see a leprechaun. Oh, Tag, you don't really think Tim believes in them, do you? Well, I don't know, but it's kind of fun. Ouch! What's Say! All, what's all that? One of those leprechauns. They, they must have found me. See, they like to pinch people, and one just pinched me. Oh, nonsense. You probably just got a cramp in your leg. Ouch! Go away! Ouch! Now go away, will you? Go on, get out of here! Well, it hurts. <laughs> How's it going? Like always, the richest gold bearing ore I've ever seen. Yeah. Well, now that the funeral's over, I guess I can talk business to Eliza. We gotta make her sell, boss. This vein starts under your property, but the best part of it lies under her land. Oh, there's never any question in my mind, or I wouldn't have taken you in to help me get rid of Amos. Um, I know you're going at this the right way, Kobe, but sometimes a fella gets awful anxious with the fortune and gold laying right at his feet. You know, something could go wrong. Uh, nothing's going wrong. Uh, just to make sure, have Monk mount up and keep his eye on the biddle spread. Looking for what? Now, that Irishman working for Eliza says that he's a prospector. He's more than half local, but uh, no use taking any chances if he knows he's around. Did you close that door? All right. <laughs> We've got the chores well in hand, Eliza. We? The leprechauns have learned to chop wood and to shut doors, huh? Pull my leg, if you will. But one day I will show you things in the world beyond the knowledge of mortals. Well, it's beyond the knowledge of this mortal, how Amos ever kept this ranch going as long as he did. We don't have enough water. No water it is. Well, I'll have to do something about it. Do something about it? But how? Oh, there are ways and ways. <laughs> You're thinking of digging wells. It's no use. Amos tried that. Digging, she says. <laughs> Faith, I never put spades to ground till I knew the water was down there and ready to jump in my arms. Are you trying to tell me, Tim, that you know where the water is before you dig? You think that's another one of my daft notions? <laughs> where are you going now? I'm going out to start my researches. Oh, it may take me a day or two. But if there's water here, I'll find it. Now, Eliza, wish me in the leprechaun's well. <laughs> Oh, no. If he had a butterfly net, I'd say he's trying to catch leprechauns. What can you catch with a twig? A twig? Yeah, what about it? Lofty, did you ever read about dowsers? Dowsers? Yeah. Yeah, I'll come to think of it. What are dowsers? Well, they're people that find water with a willow twig, or what they call a divining rod. 
You think Jim's one? I don't know. Well, dowsing's just a superstition, isn't it, Annie? No, it's more than that, Lofty. There's no explanation for it, but there have been a lot of dowsers that have found water, and even silver and gold. Well, Isaac could sure use the water. I'm fine. I'm fine. Well, can you get up? Oh, six more than that to knock an air. Oh, oh, is it okay, Annie? I'm all right. I told Annie I was okay. It was a ruse to trap the spalpeen into coming in closer so I could give him a foot tour. <laughs> That murdered Scott. He says his name's Jones. He was shooting a jackrabbit. I'll show him the difference between a jackrabbit and an Irishman. Oh, Tim. Hey, he also shot at me. Jackrabbits don't wear badges. Taking him in. All right, we'll go on over to Eliza's. I'll help you, Lofty. No, Tag, you go on over to Eliza's and Tim and I'll meet you there. Sure, sis. Come on, Tim. No, Ben. I'm not so sure I want to sell. That's tough for a man to make this ranch pay, Eliza, and twice as tough for a woman. I know, but it's been my home for so long. Hello, Mr. Kobe, Miss Biddle. A man tried to shoot Tim while he was prospecting. But he's okay now. Where is Tim? Annie's bringing him in, and Lofty caught the man. Uh, who was the fellow, Tag? Uh, I don't know. He wouldn't give us his right name. little fellow that was hanging on his tail. <laughs> he put in a lost his hat, that little leprechaun. The lad will have told you about it tonight. Yes, and whatever's going on around here, I'm scared. I'm going to sell the ranch. Uh? You are? To who? Is that why you're here, Ben? Well, that's why I came, but... Uh... Don't be making any rash move, Elisha. There's water to be found here, and maybe treasure. I didn't know you were planning on expanding, Ben. Well, I'm running enough cattle that I can use a bigger spread. So I made Amos an offer a while ago and asked Eliza just now if she'd sell, but... Oh, I'll have to back out, Eliza. Why? Well, somebody's got reason for making trouble on this place, and I don't like to buy trouble. Well, that makes sense. Trouble can't last forever, Miss Biddle. Of course not. And I'm here to stand by you. And I have a feeling in me bones that there's a fortune to be had. Tim, if I were you, I'd stay away from prospecting for a while. I'll not be put off me lawful pursuits by skulking assassins. But, Tim, it's dangerous. Uh, it sure sounds that way to me. Well, I'm sorry, Eliza. Oh, uh, Tag says that Lofty caught one of the gang, Annie. Did you find out anything about him? No, he wouldn't talk, but he's behind bars now, and Lofty's keeping after him. I hope you get results. Goodbye. Goodbye. So long. Sure wish I could figure this thing out, Eliza, but... Well, I guess our best bet is to keep after the prisoner and find out what he knows. Come on, Tag. Oh, gosh, Annie. Tim hasn't told me much about dowsing. 
Why couldn't he spend the night here, Lenny? He'd be very welcome. Well, all right. Good. Then maybe I can see one of those leprechauns. Well, if Tag learns about them, maybe he'll teach me. Sure will. Okay, Tag. Thanks a lot, Annie. All right, goodbye. Good night, Annie. And to tell you the truth, I am quite an authority on leprechauns. Go to sale? Well, we got it where she wants to, but I wouldn't buy it. If you call him Plum Loco, I call it Plum Smart. Listen, we got a lot to do. Annie Oakley was there. She and her deputy caught Monk. He's in jail. Are they on to us? No. Monk's keeping his lip button, but I don't know how long that'll last. He's bound to talk sooner or later. Unless we do something. Well, I've already figured out what to do. Yeah? We can fix it so Monk doesn't talk, and we can still get the ranch. But you said you didn't want it. Sure, to throw Annie off the trail. I'm making Eliza come to me, and by tomorrow she'll be begging me to take it off her hands. After what's going to happen to Monk. What is going to happen to Monk? You're pretty handy with that knife, ain't you? Yeah, I got taught by an Indian. How's it going, Lofty? Uh, Mr. Jones is just plumb unsociable. He won't talk about anything. Not even why he can't tell the difference between a deputy sheriff and a jackrabbit. Well, you might try changing the subject. Oh, such as what? Well, tell him how much longer a man stays in jail if he withholds evidence. It's an idea. Why make it tough on yourself, Jones? It'd be a lot easier on you if you remember what you were doing and why. What are you doing out here? You're supposed to be back to the ranch, me bucko. Well, when Miss Fiddle found out that you'd gone dowsing without any breakfast, she told me to bring these to you. Well, wasn't that mighty sweet of her? Sure yeah, was. You hold up. Gee, thanks. Say, is it really true that when you find gold or water or something, this thing really moves? Moves? It pulls with the strength of a cart horse. Gosh. Ouch! Oh, one of me leprechauns. Pinched, Jay. Eh? No, this bush. It's sharper than a knife. Yeah. Sharper than a serpent's tooth. Tooth? Here's your breakfast, Jones. Oh. Kind of overslept, didn't you, Lofty? Yeah. Looks like Jones doesn't get up with the chickens either. Hey, Jones. Hey, wake up. Dead, Annie. Knifed. No. Well, it must have come through that window. That's the only possible way. Who in the world could have done it? If he'd been in with a gang, they'd just ride away and forget about him. Usually. Why would he have in mind? Well, it must have been someone from around here that didn't want their identity known. Come on, Lofty. We've got some riding to do and some questions to ask. to add to your troubles, Eliza, but your cattle broke down my fence again. They're on my range, probably after water. What will I do? Ben, I just can't go on. 
I'm sure sorry, but... Uh... Oh, while I'm here, I might as well get that contract I gave Amos when I thought he might sell out to me. Oh, it's here somewhere. But, Ben, if you'll buy the ranch, I'll let you have it for a lot less than you offered Amos. Well, it's still buying trouble. Yes, but you're a man. You can deal with it better than I can. That Irishman may be local, but he sure don't scare easy. The leprechauns, they know where they're watering the treasures to be found. But would they have me out? <laughs> Not them, ordinary little devils. You mean there's leprechauns right here? Eh? Uh, there's one, sitting in your pony's saddle <laughs> and grinning at me. Doggone it. I guess I'll just never get to see a leprechaun. Hey, come here. What do you want? Now I'll tell you what I want you to do. I want you to go up there and give him a good swipe and scare him. Because when they're scared, that's when they yield up their secrets. Gosh, it's kind of hard to hit something you can't see, Mr. Laffey. Now you go over there and take a swipe at him like I tell you. Okay. Is he still there? Yes. Did I hit him, Mr. Laffey? Huh? Did I hit him good? You done it, lad. You done it. Here, let me try it. Hey, it doesn't work for me. Well, that don't make any difference. You helped anyway, and now we found it. We, we found, found it. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We found it. We found it. We found it. The way he's jumping around looks like he's found something. Sure looks like it. He's right over where our veins align. The boss is at the ranch now trying to close the deal. Now, you ride up there and tell Miss Lighter. What do I tell her we found, Mr. Lafferty? You tell her maybe we found the great treasure. Okay. And I'll stay here and mark the spot. <laughs> that kid's heading for the ranch, but I can get there before he does. You better go in and keep that mick there. I never thought the day would come when I'd be glad to sell the ranch, but it did. Well, I hope I didn't make a mistake buying it. Uh, here's my draft on the bank for the full amount. Thank you, Ben. Oh, excuse me, Eliza. Here comes one of my hands, probably about that fence. Boss, looks like that old buzzard found our strike. It's too late. I got her signature. What are they doing here? That's nothing to me. I've got the ranch, and Monk never got a chance to talk. I want to talk to you, Kobe. Who's this? Sundown. Hired him a couple of weeks ago. Well, what's on your mind? That man I caught yesterday. He got knifed to death last night. Oh, Lofty, I hope there isn't any more trouble coming up. Ben just bought the ranch. After he said he wouldn't take it? Well, I bought it as a favor to Eliza. Yes, he did. He really didn't want it. Didn't want it? He made two offers, and he seemed awfully interested in that prisoner of Lofty. Tim found a treasure, and it's on your property, but on your line, Mr. Colby. Treasure? On your line? So you were doing Eliza a favor. Couldn't be that you knew about this, could it? I don't know anything about a treasure. Uh-huh. I bet you don't know anything about how Amos and that other man got killed either, do you? <laughs> Annie, but the guilty flee when no man pursue it, says in the good book. Well, I've got one of the answers, Lofty. 
The sundown is real handy when it comes to knife throwing. In you go! Up St. Patrick for the glory of Ireland! Bad when you're an upscallion. How'd you catch him, Tim? It wasn't me. It was the leprechauns. Tell him. He tricked me. Telling me there was a little man with whiskers behind me. Huh? And so there was. And now we can start digging. Whether it's for gold or whether it's for water, your troubles are over, Eliza. Up, St. Patrick. And how about up the leprechaun? Look out! There's one behind you. Oh.